everybody, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, once again, I'm here with Steve and we're talking about some new features in Final Cut Pro 10.1.2, specifically related to audio again, but this time recording audio. Voiceovers. Voiceovers. Right, Apple has done some really great stuff with the voiceover tool. Okay, and in fact, it used to just be called record audio, but now it's really a voiceover tool. Yeah, it's now calling it a voiceover tool. Excellent. Exactly, so let's look at, uh, look at how to use it and how um, you could use it functionally to really create some really cool stuff. And in fact, we have a trick, I'll have a trick I want to show you at the end that uh, you may not be aware of. Okay. It's kind of fun. So what I want to do is go to um, this project and I have, I showed this in one of the other lessons of a film I've been working on, on called Blue, it's on Vimeo. And I want to record a little bit of voiceover to go with this turtle here. I'd like to maybe almost make it like a Discovery Channel thing where I'm talking about the turtle migration path or whatever. Okay. And I just want to record to picture. Ah, so while the picture's right. playing, record, record to it. Record right okay. to it. Like a scratch track kind scratch of thing. Scratch track. Okay. Exactly. Use or, or the real narration, it or could the, be. Or it could be the real mm -hmm. narration. If you have a decent mic and, you know, good um, sound environment you're recording yeah. in, there's no reason why you couldn't have the final voiceover right, right in right the project. Here. Okay. So it's going to start with moving the play at where you want the voiceover to begin. So I'm going to start it about here. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to go to the window menu and go down here and choose record voiceover. Mm -hmm. And again, no keyboard shortcut. Um, you're probably going to want to assign that in, in the commands yeah, editor. You're using this a lot, yeah. Right. And that used to be called record audio, but record now it's audio. record voiceover. Okay. Uh, you know, actually, I never understood why it was ever called record audio. It was always voiceover. Right? Yeah. It was always a voiceover tool. Yeah. So it brings up this little window, and uh, I want a bigger window it's a bigger now. Bigger window, and notice it's um, got the little bouncy LED because it's picking up the audio from my built-in microphone on my lap, my MacBook Pro. Okay. Um, you could start by naming it here. I did a one previously, and you can type in whatever you want. It's turtle voiceover. That was already typed in. Mm -hmm. You can change the gain up here. You can set the amount. You can enter an amount. I'll just leave the gain the way it is. Okay. Um, by the way, when you open this for the first time, it actually shows up like that. Uh, very small. So, and so there's an advanced little triangle you can click, and there's more options here. So mm -hmm. if you're not seeing that, you got to click the triangle. Okay. But the but disclosure triangle. The disclosure triangle. Now input. It's using the built-in microphone, but. You can use any microphone, mm -hmm. any USB microphone, any connected mic, okay. Final Cut Pro will recognize. All right, so I'm just gonna use a built-in mic. Then you have the option to monitor on or off, and I would highly recommend you leave that off unless you want your voiceover. Unless you want lots of feedback. Lots right? of feedback, yeah. whatever. You save a microphone, and if you're playing back and audio is coming out of the speakers, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. going into the microphone. Unless you're using headphones. Let, and well, then, that's what you, then you'd wanna, you know, head, you know, exactly, unless you're using headphones. Mm -hmm. So it's off by default. Okay. okay. Uh, you can set the gain for those headphones or um, the gain for what you're listening to. But mm -hmm. here's a lot of new stuff here. You have now a countdown. So you get a countdown that uh, tells you yes. when you're going to be able to, when it's going to punch in. That's that's much better. Right. Mm -hmm. The other thing is mute while recording. In other words, you, got, you can see I've got a music track, you got sound sound effects. You don't I want that. that. I want to hear all that while I'm recording. Yes. So why turn that off? Yeah. You can leave and it off. Those are checked by default. Check by default. And okay. then the last one, and this is really cool create audition from takes. This is great. Oh. I do take one, I didn't like it, I want to do a slower read, I do it again, and it takes that second take and puts it into an audition clip. So instead of one after the other after the other, they're all starting at the same point in time, all bundled into that clip. Into an audition clip. Nice. So should we do one? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do one. Now, I might trust you. Oh, I just one more thing. It yes. says the event that it's stored into. Oh yeah, I guess. You it's can the put, event you had selected. It's the event I had selected, exactly. Okay. So I have my iPhone here. And um, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to do stuff from memory. I have a little script. Oh, yeah, a little script for yourself. Little script. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to re start recording and then read my script. Okay. That sounds good. Let's see it. All right, here we go. It's a countdown. Sea turtle migrations are extreme, with turtles sometimes traveling thousands of miles between cooler feeding grounds and warm nesting grounds. I stop that. And I see, I already see the clips down there, and the play had jumped back to the beginning of the clip. Jump back to the beginning of the clip. Mm -hmm. Now let's do it again. Now maybe I want to do it maybe a little bit, maybe tight, slightly slower. Okay, I want more feeling this time. Okay, more feel. Oh, sorry, Mark. Sea turtle migrations are extreme, with turtles sometimes traveling thousands of miles between cooler feeding grounds and warmer nesting grounds. And now, check it out, Mr. Uh, Mark. So it's, I can see the audition yeah, badge right down, away. You see audition badge. If you click that, there's my two takes right uh, okay. there. Isn't Do we need the recording voiceover oh, window anymore? We don't really need it. I could keep yeah. going and boring you with okay. the same read over and over. But I'm going to close, close that. see that thing bouncing. But basically, you can see I have an audition clip. So yep. I could just use my arrow keys, and then I could, I could, I could play the first take. Are extreme.
of turtles sometimes traveling thousands of miles between cooler feeding grounds and warm... And then I can go to the next nice. one. And, and you're just but, tapping you know, the arrow key. I'm just hitting the space bar. But to go from one to the other. Oh, yeah, to go from one to the other, I'm just using the arrow key. Mm -hmm. With turtles sometimes traveling thousands of miles between cooler feeding grounds and warmer... Messages. I think you've got another career in the making. I know, there. so <laughs> that might too. Now, it's it's great. In fact, let's say I want to go with this take here. I just hit select and I click, you know, done. done. Uh -huh. And that's the one I want. That's the take. And now I play it. Let's play it back with picture. Because we're going to see it with picture. Okay. Right? Right? Okay, we have some serious audio um, reduction here because it's conflicting. Yeah, let's so really pull it down. There we go. Let's pull it down. Sea turtle migration is extreme, with turtles sometimes traveling thousands of miles between cooler feeding grounds and warmer nesting grounds. Very cool. So it's it's very easy to test each of your takes. You yeah. could have four, five, six, seven, dozen takes in there. Go through them and pick the one that you want. Well, yes, but there's one other thing that's pretty darn cool. What if I wanted to use the first part of one take and the second part of another take? Well, that's what I'm used to, actually. Like in, back in Soundtrack Pro, you could mix and match bits from each take to create the best overall voiceover. That's right. So, but you can't do it here. Oh, yes, you can. Get out. You, you get out. Yeah, so yeah. How? So you could select the take. Okay. And you could go to the clip menu and go down and choose break apart clip items. Wait a minute. Break apart clip items for a an audition clip? For an audio audition clip. For an clip. audio audition clip. Okay, that's new. Now check it out. I've just broken apart. I have my take one and nice. my take one and Can you zoom in a little command Absolutely. plus just to see a little bigger? Yeah, there Great. we go. Great. So you've got both of your takes starting at the same place mm -hmm. and now how do you choose the well, best Well, what I'm going to do want? is I'm going to select these so it, I don't want to have to deal with these other tracks conflicting. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'm going to solo. Uh, I click the solo button so okay. only so it turns off all, everything else. So yeah. what I want to do is find the, the first part of the take that I want. And um, you could you could turn off the one you don't want to listen to there with V also, oh, right? Yeah, that, that's, right now it's going to play both. Right, right now. So I'll just, I might press V just so let's play this here. Let's see. Sea turtle migrations are extreme, with turtles sometimes traveling thousands of miles between. So right, I, maybe I like this intro here. Sea turtle migrations are extreme. So right okay. there, let me say I want to blade that. That's I really like the first part of that so read. You just went the first part. Right, so I just yeah. bladed that. Now this part, so, well, there's a couple ways I can do it. I can blade blade this, yeah. right, and then get rid of that and, and delete that, and then delete that. That's one way of doing okay. it. Okay. Okay. There's another way I can do it. We'll look at it in a second. Okay. Now we'll just turn this back on. Press V, and I like the second part of this. With turtles sometimes traveling. Okay, so maybe I want, you know, this part. So I yeah. could blade it, but you showed me a really cool thing. If I bring up the range selection tool, yeah. this is another way of doing it. I can say, I just want this section here. Okay. And you go up to the trim menu and just use trim selection. Trim selection. It, it removes gets, everything. Gets rid of the extra bits. This is, yeah, I mm -hmm. think that's actually even better than just blading okay. it. Because now I can switch back to the arrow tool or selection tool and I can just kind of move And this change the timing. Change the yeah. time. I can change the timing to yeah. move this closer, further, further away. I really want to do it, and uh, let's play this back. Sea turtle migrations are extreme, with turtles sometimes traveling thousands of miles between cooler feeding grounds and... Warm. Terrific. <laughs> Terrific and super easy. So, so just review, to That's review... That's awesome, That's isn't nice. it? Right. So just to review what you did, you used the voiceover to, tool to do multiple takes, yeah. which made an audition clip, but then you broke apart the audition clip to have access to the individual takes so that you could take the best bits from each take. Fantastic. Yeah, good, good tip, good tip. Very nice, so. love it. Very nice tip. Love it. Okay, is that so it? That's it. Well, that's all I'm going to show. That, well, that's a good place to end. I guess it's a great tip. So hopefully that's useful for you guys. Um, please check us out at RippleTraining.com for all kinds of training and plugins for Final Cut Pro 10, Motion, Resolve, other applications. Check us out next week. Thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.